Single Zodiac. Welcome. Doing your singles read. This is a daily read now for November 16th. Normally I do the Meet the Soulmates read. Um, and that is up for the end of November. So simply go to my channel. I do Aries and Taurus on Mondays always. Uh, Gemini Cancer on Tuesdays. And I end the week on Saturday with Aquarius and Pisces. So uh, whatever sign you are, it'll be a bigger read there. Which is to meet the soulmates. Kind of asking spirit to help us identify and describe your soulmate. Go deep on them, what it's like. Um, so with this read, just doing three cards. Pulling through the deck. Start with Aries and roll. Um, and so looking uh, a little more asking spirit in the name of light and love so as serves the greatest good only Can we get some deeper advice that's helpful and meaningful? Whoever's watching whatever it is you need in terms of singles It's not so much oriented meet the soulmate exactly is oriented towards who is your soulmate This is a more reading about you and where you're at, you know, I'm a Sagittarius, you know, Sun uh, Mercury Mars and Jupiter, so I usually resonate uh, with Sag energy. So this is where you're at in terms of love and relationship right now in your singles uh, journey. Um, it's interesting. Um, I also read this as past energy and I also read how we are in and around love and relationships whether I'm doing a heart spread, always with this card, or not, that's exactly the way I'm going to read this. Um, uh, usually it's a reaction to past energy, or it's all standing on the bones of past energy, we could say, right? Um, so it's something about a marriage, it's on your mind. Um, it's you, you have a marriage on your mind, and it could go anywhere from like the person you're interested in is married, or you tend to be interested in uh, married people, something like that. Or it could just be uh, your last marriage uh, was is still, you know, you haven't got closure on it. Um, something like this, too. And it's going to speak uh, Aries to Taurus in your chart, but perhaps, you know, Uranus at 12 degrees, most significant there right at the moment. So, seven of uh, pentacles here, six of pentacles, I'm sorry. I'm using the uh, classic uh, Rider weight Tarot today. It's my oldest deck, actually. I don't know why I just wanted to use it. It's, a, it's going back to basics day. So, that would, this, I was going to say Seven of Pentacles. This is a very, very, very different um, read. So, Six of Pentacles, this is whatever's going on, you're getting it together, you know? Um, so, um, if you are interacting with someone who's married or maybe vice versa uh, maybe you someone you're dating or interested in is and i would if you this is your energy go to the heart spread too that's up for every day too aries tour etc and check out your heart spread because that i read more deeply into someone that's on your mind whereas to meet the soulmates when you're really just kind of like you know what i know what on my mind uh, uh, that's kind of energy um, but otherwise, it's you really getting balanced in this. You know, I t kind of what comes to mind, Aries, is like you're really going to go into a relationship with marriage on your mind. Like you're going into the relationship before you even dated, really, thinking like, is this the one? And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that's maybe what this is. It's really strong. It's like, you know... Uh, but how, whatever it is, you're kind of, I believe, the Six of Pentacles, such a good card to get. Um, and this is where you're at right now. You're kind of getting it together here and bringing that into some kind of balance or bringing it under control. Maybe you're starting to recognize that in you. You know, and this is uh, being balanced in yourself, but... Uh, being able to be vulnerable, being able to be open to the other person. It's kind of Libra energy, too. That's scales. Um, and it's but very solid, you know. Um, so, to me, it's like coming in with this marriage energy on you in one way or another, as I describe it. Um, and then this is you really doing the work. This is personal energy, willpower, uh, putting your back into it, taking the actions you need to do. 
to get yourself into this balanced position, which is a really good position from which to offer your, this is either you offering, I'm thinking from this position, maybe then you will make your offer to the person. It's like you, it's, it literally could just be as simple as in your mind going, I, I just want to marry them to Jesus, get a handle girl or get a handle dude. You just met them, you know, and kind of ratcheting it back a, a minute and looking at things and getting things under control and uh, being more realistic. But then this implies the near future with the Ace Sword. You're putting it out there, you know. And I got to say, because it's an Ace of Swords, not like the Ace of Cups or anything, um, it's a little, it's a little harsh or something. It's a little harsh, a little strong, a little rushed. It's it's honest, but this is kind. Of, I get the feeling this is going to be like honest in the sense of raw, like you being like raw. I I just got the feeling it's like I know you're married. I know I'm married, but you know I want you. You know, I really thought about it. And the only way the numbers work out for me, the only way things balance for me is with you. That's pretty precise reading, but there you go. Thank you, Aries. Uh, Taurus, thanks for joining me. Doing the singles read today from the Urban Studios of Cancun. Where we have some work going on there, but I hope, I hope it doesn't ruin it. Um, but otherwise, so peaceful, beautiful back here. I'm grateful to be here, but I'm doing instead of the Meet the Soulmate read, a little different, just pulling through the deck here, every sign, we'll time stamp them, and um, normally I do the Meet the Soulmate, that's up for the end of November on my site, you can go back and check it out, um, um, Taurus is uh, going to be on Mondays, so last Monday, uh, you would see your reading for both the singles, and it's totally and completely single, where I just described your soulmate. It's more in depth three of the eight cards. Uh, or the heart spread, it, which explores if you have someone on your mind. Here I'm just kind of doing a checkup, generally, where you're at in terms of love and relationship, and focusing on a single search, you know. Uh, which I think is kind of magical energy. Here comes the wind to back me up. So <laughs> Matt is rustling of the leaves. Uh, it is a kind of a magical energy, made the Sag in me, you know, but it's like anything's possible, you know, I kind of got to look at it that way. I mean, there's 8 billion people in the world. I mean, if you're bisexual, it's like, whoop, whoop, <laughs> you know, and, you know, arguably you only need one, so, uh, you know, it's just kind of a magical energy to me. So let's take a look. This is going to be where you're at in terms of love and relationship. Taurus, congratulations, man. Um, it shows someone that's really leveled up, you know, crashed through the glass ceiling, um, reached a new level. Uh, this is everything from graduating from high school, college, uh, getting a promotion to like a management, you know. Um, but in a, in a love and relationship reading, uh, it becomes kind of more the energy um, of doing that in terms of love and relationship and like just kind of getting to the point where you value yourself and you understand kind of how love works. It's like with the mechanic, you know, it's a mechanic, they're good, they just listen to your engine go, I know what's wrong, I know what parts I'm going to need, I know what tools to use to do this, I know how long it's going to take, and here's what it's going to cost, and all in their head just from listening. This is you maybe leveling up in terms of love and relationship to where you're like that. You know, it's not even that hard for you now at this level, um, Taurus. Um, so, um, anybody cross-watching, you're dealing with extraordinarily high-functioning Taurus energy here. Um, it's, um, you know, the next card, then you begin again with, what, the Fool. So, it's kind of a wide-open energy. Mm -hmm. It's very wide open uh, from a point of view of strength, you know, too. So it's probably speaking to a Taurus that's feeling pretty good, doing pretty good. Um, you know, you don't get to the world by slacking off and playing video games in mom's basement. So as somebody that's been doing the work, gets again, though, reading you more towards love here. Uh, this someone's done the work in terms of love, whatever work that's necessary, the shadow work, the good work, you know, of the self. And here... Ah, huh, six of cups. Wow. I, didn't, I haven't seen the... 
this deck in a long time, so I had to go basic today with the Rider Weight Tarot with my oldest deck. Um, so this is kind of to me. I also read a lot for manifestation. Check out the Soul Family read too, would you? It's up every day for a general read for whoever resonates around manifestation spirituality. Um, I think with someone reaching the world, and now here you're showing uh, the Six of Cups, um, it's like a soulmate. Either there's a soulmate on the radar, in which case, again, check out the heart spread, which is up by sign. Uh, so um, that would be someone on your mind. Or this could be just like you have a feeling that the soulmate is coming in. And with this feeling would come sense of like, I'm not just, I don't even really want it. I, Kind of maybe I'm projecting uh, when I was single it's like I don't really want to go out and date it's not really fun it's like you know uh, I had a dream I kind of know this and that it's like really kind of having that feeling like your soulmate is all over you man if you're a single person now if you're single if, if you're single and dating maybe the one you're dating here is your soulmate if so I mean you, you would resonate strongly yes 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 you know, uh, well, let's see what we get for an outcome. And also take it, Jesus Christ, guys, this is kind of like the, I mean, I don't know. This is like the best three card reading ever. You got the soulmate card and then you got the world and that's you. And then you got your outcome being the sun. Now, how the hell could that possibly go wrong? <laughs> you know, congratulations, Taurus. I'm gonna already give you the award for the for the day. I don't, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have the best reading uh, of the day here. Um, so if you haven't come into your soulmate, then you will. And I tell you, this is screaming. Two days away now, full moon uh, eclipse here. Right, it's supposed to be the longest eclipse in like forever. Um, very intense uh, feelings. Um, it's in Taurus at 27 degrees, exactly a sextile my um, my uh, natal uh, moon in Cancer. So I'm astrologer too, so I follow this, and um, I really think it speaks to this, like something's popping right here on this full moon for you guys. I got a feeling, guys. So, wow, let me know what you think. Congratulations, Taurus, thank you guys. Gemini's, welcome doing your singles read here uh, in a uh, urban uh, jungle, excuse the noises and stuff of the, some work going on and neighbors. Otherwise, pretty <laughs> intimate and quiet most of the time. I normally do the Meet the Soulmate read. I do have those up on my channel for the end of November already. So this week, going a little different with the uh, singles and doing an all signs read, pulling through the deck, guys. So this is your read. Um, just trying to touch bases with where you're at in terms of love and relationship. I'm looking at things a little bit more and try to get a bigger picture on it. So I pray in the name of love and light so it serves the greatest good uh, spirit that you give us some insight that's helpful and has some depth and gives uh, people whatever it is that you're looking for or need from this. Gemini's. You're coming in with the Three of Cups. I know it's water, but I always think of it as the Gemini card. That third house energy of the neighborhood, the energy of being happy and friends and frankly going out and having a good time, hanging out in bars, hanging out in restaurants, kind of being in, in crowds of uh, friends is how I think of this. And it just seems to me a very Gemini energy in general, you know, I haven't had a lot of Geminis in my life. Where you're at now is the fool, you know, this is kind of getting specific. But this is you out with a group of friends and you're about to you're about to fall in love with one of them you single gemini you what's going on here that's what this fool is and you're going to fall hard so you're either kind of aware of this i bet you're aware of which one i'm talking about okay but leave a comment if that's the case i bet you you're like uh oh yeah i know but there's like some point coming maybe it's already there this is now energy is this you're just gonna go you're going to go, you're going to make love to them, you're going to tell them you love them, or something like that. And that's what I think that's about here, guys. Um, okay. Hmm. In the outcome. Wow. Let me get a clarifier on that outcome. 
darn if we don't have the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Well, I got to say, because um, I was wondering about this, it's kind of a wah, wah for Jim and I. I'm sorry. I think you're going to put it out there. I think you're wide open. And uh, maybe I think it's going to be around this group of people. I, I, I know this is what it says. I'm sorry. I think they're not really going to be interested in you. Um, and, you know, um, you're going to have really kind of put yourself out there energetically because you maybe haven't done that in a while. And now it's like a real slap in the face. And when this shows you looking, though, I kind of take that as a good sign, the Three of Wands. But it shows you still looking, so this person's not the one. So you're still looking. So try to take it as the warm-up. Try to take it like, okay, what well, got me warmed up now to go out there? Because it's kind of brutal, you know? And clarifying that with the Nine of Pentacles is um, you're going to be single, i got to say, for some period longer. And it's just really important to just do you and be yourself and uh, live your life and... Um, be the strong, uh, stable person that you are um, during this search, you know, um, which Three of Wands clearly indicates, I call it the, I would, if I made a dating site for astrology, I'd call it Three of Wands dating site, right? So, very much shows you looking, maybe going to a dating site, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles going there, knowing exactly what you want to, keep that in mind, that might be helpful, be solid, write it down. In terms of manifestation, that's important too, guys. Thank you, Jim and Ice. Cancers, thanks for joining me. This is uh, the reading for the 17th of November. Um, this is, um, well, instead of the Meet the Soulmates reading, I'm doing this one this week. The only way you push through some of the noise of my neighbors and stuff, because um, I'm in the middle of this. We don't have technology to turn things off. I've got to get better at the technology. Um, but anyway, so Meet the Soulmates up on my site. You can go there, Cancer, and check out the end of November reading. And that's where I just simply describe the one that I think the universe thinks is best for you. Um, so it's a very non-triggery kind of reading. Here this week, try and do something a little different on every day, reading through the signs. And now we're going to do your reading with two cards. And just focus in on uh, love and relationships, kind of get an idea of where you're at, guys. All right, you're coming in with the Page of Wands. I think that's beautiful energy for this reading, particularly for a single um, here. Um, so, and then for a Cancer, a lot of you have Leo in your charts. Could speak to that. Maybe you have a Leo Mercury, Leo Mars. Uh, hello, Leo Mars. <laughs> or Leo Venus, you know, um, in your charts. And is this page is facing into the reading. So, uh, there's a couple ways to go if you're just totally and completely single, like for the Meet the Singles. Um, if you're not, if you got someone on your mind, that's, I also have every day the heart spread, every sign uh, for the week. And uh, you could go back to last uh, Tuesday and see your reading for that. For that. Uh, but if you're totally single, it's just you're going in, you know, confidence. Um, and you could speak to you being a little bit younger. Um, it, could, it could also speak to like a person who hasn't been on to the dating scene for a while who feels awkward and kind of youthful, but there's also like this enthusiasm and fire to it, so it's kind of perfect. And I love it that's facing right into the reading here. Um, so it's like you being kind of fired up and wanting love. I mean, this could be someone joins a dating site. Um, um, and this, uh, Paige, you know, you're putting yourself out there. You're letting it be known. You're expressing yourself, which I think is always good, you know. Um, that's a great way to manifest, just express yourself. Look at this, the lovers. So then you get the Page of Wands with the lovers, and this is where you are at now, right now. Wow. I don't really think this is a choice yet. Let me see as we get, let me look at the outcome. But I don't feel like a choice here. I feel more... Um, this is the energy now if you're really have uh, a target in sight you know your feelings like you're really on it now um, particularly to the totally singles if you are in a relationship yes it could be either you have a choice of two or more likely it's like it just got a choice of one do I get more serious about this person I've been dating some or do I not and keep myself open? That's kind of what we're going to look at right now. That's the question here, you know. But uh, 
if you're totally single, I think you're just moving strongly into uh, manifesting a lover here. And uh, if you're totally single, now this one's coming right into you, right into the lovers. So look for an air sign, Gemini here, Libra, Aquarius energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus here, Cancer, is coming in uh, here, particularly um, if you're totally uh, single. Uh, if there is a choice, then you're going to pick that one. That's the air sign. This is someone also kind of like the Page of Wands, uh, maybe even stronger, a little bit older than you. Maybe you might feel them as a little bit more substantial than you in some way. Um, they're coming in and very hot and strong and fast and saying probably I love you. They may have said I love you first, you know, um, that kind of energy. Is, so you'll know the one. And if, if it is a matter of do I invest in this or not, I'm saying yes because, you know, that's relationships are for learning and growing and really ultimately our soul's growth and this is someone I mean I just want to give them the time of day a night of uh, swords coming in hot and heavy but I'm a Sagittarius it's like bring it you know because that's someone's being raw being open being real being honest and you know it, it might be a little fast uh, you know um, but you know I think there's a honesty to it too here um, and I don't know, frankly, it's kind of sexy, guys. I'll be honest with you. I just see with the lovers in the middle, uh, whether it's someone brand new or whether it's this person, it's like uh, it's only going to get better than if it's the person you've been dating. Maybe you hadn't made love yet. Maybe you should. Just saying. Thank you, guys. Leo, welcome. Doing the singles read. This is for the 17th of November. And normally I do meet soul mate, soul uh, mate read. I do have that up for the end of November on my site, so you can pull it. Um, Leah is always on Wednesday with Leo and Virgo Day. Um, if you want to see the bigger eight card read, here I'm reading for uh, all the signs. Just doing a quick three card read, kind of a checkup on where you're at in and around relationships, guys. All right, now. Usually when I have this here, there's basically one way to read it is you're moving away from another lover. Because it's a love reading, so, uh, you know, it could mean a lot of different things. It is thoughts and communication. But it could mean that you are moving away, like maybe you uh, had detached from someone, but you were still in communication. And I can recall times in my life how this would apply. And you finally make that decision to withdraw the communication. Really, you withdraw your energy from this past relationship, which would then make you totally and completely single. So, a prime candidate for the Mate the Soulmate read. Go back to last Wednesday, maybe check it out. Um, and you're moving into uh, something here, something else. Um, let's see what. <laughs> it's the Eight of Swords. <laughs> So it, this is a difficult time. You know, with the Six of Swords, it's not usually like this really nice uh, exit in a relationship that's uh, supportive and mutually uh, uh, supportive and high vibing. You know, often it's, you know, difficult uh, energy one way or another. And Six of Swords implies you're particularly difficult leaving in the middle of the night or something. And here, you know, that's what's going to put you into this Eight of Swords energy. Um, now combined, it's like if you're single here, Leos, um, this is really a good time to stay single for a minute because you got to deal with this. I mean, just look at these two together, you know, I'm sorry it, what you're going through, but you got to have faith too. It's a little bit like you consider yourself in the dark here, like the pupae that's in metamorphosis really doesn't know what's going to happen in the future that kind of thing um, but let me see if we get some advice on the outcome to a swords well you're in a world of hurt right now whoever I'm speaking to here um, Leo um, and now I mean my god the six of swords the eight of swords I could say this you it may not feel like it but you're moving in the right direction you are not staying in your comfort zone you got out of your comfort zone. You're doing what's right for you. You're paying a tremendous cost, and uh, it's, it's getting on you, you know. Um, and you know you have to make a decision. See the new moon back there? I think that represents, right? 
So this could be speaking to the full moon coming up. And maybe maybe this went down during the new, uh, new moon. The last new moon energy, right? And maybe now this is like two days away. Three days away now. Two days away. So it, this is always going to be a heart over mind decision. That's what this is going to speak to. You need to be some kind of heart overhead decision. And you know, you've got all these swords here, Lear. You are so in your head. Um, check out the heart spread read now. I do that up uh, also. That'll be on Wednesday uh, for who's on your mind. It might give some advice on whatever it is. Because, I mean, you're, you're really trying to move away in your mind from this relationship. You couldn't even be physically departed, you know. Uh, but it's not happening. You just can't get it out of your head and you just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I don't know how I get it out of my head. So, not a fuzzy one, but um, thank you, Leos. Um, Virgos, thanks for joining me. Uh, doing the all signs reading for singles right now. Pulling through the deck. Going to get three cards. Kind of get a general reading for where you're at in terms of love and relationship. Normally I do the, meet, the soulmate read for singles. Uh, by sign, but that is up from last week. You can go to it on my site. And Wednesdays is always uh, going to be uh, Leo Virgo days, so you can see the Meet the Soulmate from last Wednesday for the end of November. But right now, it's kind of get an idea where you're at with a general love reading around love and relationship, and see if we can go a little deep and get something that's helpful and see which way you go. I never know. Okay. So you've got the uh, Knight of Wands. Now this is your energy in and around relationships where your mind and heart is at right now. That's what this is supposed to represent. I do hear in a three card reading, see past, present, and future as well. So this is kind of where you're at now. The thing, the problem here, this night is going the wrong way. So usually when I see this, it's like um, you're kind of working yourself up to get passionate and uh, maybe a little bit aggressive, maybe uh, to stand out, um, to make an effort, to take action. Above all else, ones are actions. Above all else, knights are actions. Put them together. This is all about actions. And I gotta tell you, a little bit it feels to me, Virgo, like it's saying, I don't know, this is like a daily read, but it's like maybe your actions have not been serving you either you've been self-sabotaging, you've been actually serving against you, or somehow the, the actions you've taken are not serving you. And I don't get it like you're a bad person, you're doing bad things. I get it like you're maybe being really a Virgo and you're thinking it all through. I, I know, I could be projecting, this is my life. And you're trying to take like what you think is the best action, you really kind of go for it, and somehow backfires or it doesn't really get you the oomph that you wanted for the effort. And you did a little bit with the knight facing the wrong way, like kind of running as fast as we can to stay in the same place energy here, guys. So, let's see where we're at now, Virgo. Two knights. Now, this knight is moving in. Wow. i tell you what. You know, I'm reading for uh, manifestation, spirituality. Do check out Soul Family Read, too. I'll put a link below here in the description for that. But a daily read for love and manifestation, more around just our individual, for whoever resonates, a spiritual path. But um, I think this is, uh, in terms of love and relationship, this is strongly advising. It's kind of like what's going wrong with your actions is, it's not that they're ill-advised from an intellectual point of view. They're ill-advised from an emotional point of view. So emotionally, see, this one, the knight is going forward with the cup of love. Now that's what you want to see in a singles. That's who you want to be. I mean, that's about perfect right there. <laughs> you know, because the king of cups, is actually, uh, the knight of cups, unlike a king or queen or emperor, they're taking action. That's what they're doing in love. It's the love ring. There's no other way to read it. So there's something emotional. It's like... Um, you, you may have had it in your mind that you have to lead somehow, almost like with the ego, um, and sort of almost like maybe you have it in your mind, you, you have to show off, you have to be extra beautiful, extra manly, however it manifests in 
really what you need to do is drop down into your emotions and lead with your feelings and just this is what I do anyway cancer moon and just like you know if it doesn't feel good don't do it if it does yeah I mean it sounds like oh it's the hedonism no it's just following your own energy you, know, you obviously you know right or wrong <laughs> you know um, so um, really think that's good advice right there um, just and when I mean drop down your feelings just simply like if it's like you know i feel kind of uptight and i'm really not real say look i'm sorry i'll leave and get up and leave you know and when you're sitting around you go how do i feel right now and you're like fuck i feel great i feel energized i feel seen i feel happy i feel engaged then you're like ding 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 and you're going to end up with <laughs> a water sign maybe a cancer virgo i'm not kidding around now and this let's face it into you too man <laughs> God, I love it. I love it. I love telling you right now. Why you're going to get a Queen of Cups because you're presenting emotional energy. You dropped into your emotions, the Virgo, and you know, look, what is that? Being vulnerable, being really open and vulnerable emotionally, and presenting ourselves. And I'm going to tell you, you know, I'll reverse them so they're facing right. They're facing each other. And this Queen, you know, this is a great way to approach a Queen. As a knight, as a queen will receive a knight, you know, so you got a shot. I think you got a good shot. In fact, I think this is the one, uh, Virgo. I mean, if, you, if they're not in a bead now, do check out the Meet the Soulmate read. I don't remember if Virgo's was a Cancer personality. I do the sun always in the moon. So we'll check it out. Remember, this could be a prominent, like Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Venus and Mars are very important here in this kind of love reading, you know. Could be Cancer, Venus, or Mars. Could be other water sign. I just got really strong. We got Cancer for you, wise. I think Cancer is basically great for Virgo. Anyway, it's like sex.